when you just introduced let's say a glass slab of particular thickness in between the path of that light yeah so what we know that so let's say according to this so this is how we can draw the diagram over here yeah so in this we can just show that obviously over here so this is how let's say yeah okay so this is the screen yes yeah, so obviously this one is nothing but the screen on which you are going to observe that diffraction pattern and you have to just introduce now a slab of thickness t okay so this is your s1 this is your s2 and obviously then this is the point p yeah okay and what we know that over here obviously so already we have just found that so this angle yeah so this angle also we just say that this angle is also theta okay so this part already we have seen so this is something so if i just consider this is the point which is at the center yeah okay so that is according to this your we have just considered that so this angle is theta over here also and let's say if i just consider this distance is d then this part difference obviously we can say that which is nothing but d sin theta okay so according to that we know that so the path difference over here is nothing but d sin theta so that we will just go ahead so let's say this s2p minus s1p initially it was nothing but your d sin theta now at the same time let's say this distance is nothing but y yeah so now again this is under certain conditions so the thing is that your d should be less than your capital d yeah so this sin theta is also equivalent to your tan theta and the same thing we can also say that so this is d tan theta and this tan theta we can say that obviously which is y upon d yeah so this is also how i can write it down so this part difference which is s2p minus s1p which is yd upon d yeah so that is what we have just got that your part difference which is s2p minus s1p that is yd upon d now what will happen when you introduce that glass slab of thickness t so definitely now the distance that ray of light which has to travel through air yeah so now it becomes s1p minus that thickness yeah so now one more thing you can just do over here what is the equivalent distance yeah so what is the equivalent distance which you have to just now calculate so now when this is the thickness of t so we know that so mu is equals to c upon v so the velocity through that your glass slab is nothing but c upon mu so obviously it is having the refractive index of mu so the velocity is c upon mu and we know one more thing velocity is equals to distance upon time so this time we can write it now as a distance upon velocity so this distance is obviously that you can write down as a thickness yeah and this velocity that is a c upon mu so this is mu t upon c yeah so this is t is equals to that total time which is mu t upon c now what is the equivalent distance that is travel in the air so corresponding to that within the same time t yeah so that also now that is optical distance optical part difference now equivalent distance in air now you can calculate that also yeah so equivalent distance obviously which is velocity into time so time is mu t upon c so this c c get cancel and this is the equivalent distance which is nothing but mu t yeah so the total distance now travel by the ray of light from s1 to p is nothing but your s1 p plus mu t yeah and minus t yeah so this is nothing but the equivalent distance traveled in air from that s1 to p yeah so this is and similarly for another case that we know that obviously it is s2 p so now how we can just find so that part difference so that part difference you can say that now that is a s2p minus s1p yeah you have to just do the subtraction yeah and again you can say that so definitely when you are just doing the subtraction for that case yeah fine so this is your minus mu minus 1 into t okay so further again this part difference 
एस टू पी माइनस एस वन पी सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वॉट वी कैन फाइंड विच इज गिवन एज अ वाई डी अपॉन डी सो दिस इज वाई डी अपॉन डी माइनस म्यू माइनस वन इन टू टी एंड दिस इज द पाथ डिफरेंस या सो दिस पाथ डिफरेंस अगेन फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफरेंस यू कैन फाइंड द कंडीशन दैट कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफरेंस सो टू फाइंड लेट से फॉर द सेंट्रल ब्राइट बैंड सो दिस पाथ डिफरेंस इट हैज टू बी जीरो so you can find the corresponding that condition also yeah so definitely if the path difference is zero so what you will do over here so this yd upon d is equals to mu minus 1 into t so corresponding distance y so that is a mu minus 1 yeah into t that is a d upon capital d yeah so this is a slight shift yeah so this is the slight shift in that interference pattern Yeah, and that distance is nothing but y is equals to mu minus one. That is a t d upon d. Yeah, we can just beta is equals to lambda d upon d. So you can just find in terms of this also. But you can say that right now this is nothing but the displacement of your interference fringes by a small distance y when you introduce a glass slab of thickness that is a t and refractive index mu. So that y is equals to mu minus one into t d upon d. Yeah. So definitely you can say that that shift is in the positive direction. There might be possibility that you are going to introduce that glass slab in another path in the path of s two p. Then in that case that shift will be in the downward direction. But for this case it is in the upward direction. So this is how you are going to find that your displacement of your interference fringes so the fringe pattern gets shifted by the distance y for this particular case over here so this is how we can just say that